Hello everyone, welcome to 2020. Uh, this sounds odd, don't it? But it's New Year's Day, uh, 2020. And uh, been working on the wood, uh, done a little scraping on the driveway with the John Deere 5205 here. But a uh, couple of things in today's video. Uh, we... Uh, <coughs> We've got to do some maintenance to some of our farm equipment. Uh, I've got I've got to do some work on the disc, uh, service the tractors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, this winter, um, we're trying to get things caught up that need to be done, but I can't do during the production, during the growing season because obviously I'm busy and the equipment's tied up. But uh, and I'm still battling this head cold. But uh, the channel reached a thousand subscribers, so I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone that uh, has subscribed. It, uh, uh, it it's kind of amazing that you know that many people are interested in what I'm doing. But I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate it greatly. And uh, another topic is. Uh, you know, we're planning for 2020, and a, a co-worker sent me an article earlier today talking about how small farms are just not feasible, and uh, I read it, and uh, you'll have to forgive me, it's, uh, there's all kinds of junk coming out of my head today, which, anyhow, uh, I read it, and the, guy, the author made some valid points. But, uh, you know, and, and this is what I've learned on a, on a farm uh, my entire life, basically. And uh, one of the biggest things that we run into farmer as farmers is farming's like the slot limit in fishing. If any of you guys fish, you know what I mean. That means if you catch a fish... That is between, let's, let's just use 10 inches and 15 inches. You can keep that fish. Okay? Anything smaller than 10 inches, you throw back. Anything bigger than 15, you throw back. That's slot limit. So farming's like that. As you start farming, you're in a certain slot. And you can do the same thing, grow the same crops, use the same marketing and everything up to a certain size once your farm reaches a certain threshold then you move into a different slot and when you move into a different slot the whole operation needs to change to reflect those changes uh, the crops you grow the techniques you use to grow them the marketing strategy you use and I'll give you a good example if you start out with a half acre of mixed vegetables and you've got a local tailgate market you, you can feasibly, you know, you and maybe just you by yourself, take care of this, do all the production needs, take Saturday and maybe Wednesday, so let's say two days a week, and go market that. Uh, while you're marketing at the market, your operation is not so big that it's reducing what you need to be doing on the farm. Now, if you take that half acre and you turn it into five acres, suddenly you have a lot more product to market. So if you're still doing the tailgate model, you're taking all this product on these two days. It's going to take you longer to sell it. You're going to have to go to more tailgate markets. It's going to take more time to market it. So you have less time for production. But you need more time for production because you've expanded. You're in a different slot. You'll have to look at a different marketing strategy. Or hiring someone to do it or you know there's different things and you always got to keep in mind the real the actual price you're getting for a crop so let's say for instance I'm selling uh, I don't know apples and I'm selling them for ten dollars a bushel retail now these are just numbers these are numbers made up so I'm going to the farming market selling them for ten dollars a bushel well, I reach a certain point 
I do the math and I realize, hey, it's costing me $3 a bushel to sell these, okay? Well, somebody comes along and says, hey, I want to buy some apples off of you. I'll give you $8 a bushel wholesale, pick them up at your place. Suddenly, that $8 a bushel, bushels of apples, I just made a dollar more a bushel than selling them for $10 a bushel. So, uh, if you're farming and stuff, keep that in mind. That's just some of my experience. So, sometimes it, you make more money selling a product cheaper than you do selling it for a higher price. For the simple fact that you have more in it when you sell it at a higher price. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of times we as farmers, we like to do the same thing we've always done. And as your operation changes, what you've always done may not work for the current version of your farm. So keep that in mind as you're planning for 2020. I know I will be. Thanks again for the thousand subscribers. Uh, thank each and every one of you that have subscribed. I hope you continue to watch. If you've not subscribed, please do so. Hit that little notification bell so you'll know when we put up a video. And uh, see a video you like, hit that little like button. If you've got a comment or a question, please do so. Let's get 2020 off and running. Uh, probably be back to cutting wood tomorrow. But, uh, you know, it's part of it. It's just some of those chores. Here's my little John Deere. Love that little tractor. I know I've told you guys before. You can see we're starting to make headway on the wood pile. So uh, that's that's a good thing. And like I said, I've been scraping the driveway. But anyhow, Happy New Year. Let's, uh, I hope everyone has a happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.